Hello all Strength here and welcome to a fan game called Kinemotophobia. Now Kinemotopho Kinemotopho Kinemotophobia is the irrational fear of the living dead, aka zombies and stuff like that. Now this is apparently according to this title, Five Nights with Piglet 4. I don't know what the third game is because I played the first game, the remastered, and I played the second game, Poster Run 5. I'm not sure if Agonizing Minds is the third game, but we, we might have to check that out another time. Because I saw Kinemotophobia released a week ago, so I want to give this a go and let's see what this game's about. Let's head into it. Piglet Slaughterhouse, the horror attraction. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based off of the unsolved mysteries of Piglet's own. Gives you no time. Of course it... Of course. Why wouldn't it give you time? Oh. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's backwards. Hey, yeah. Uh Good to know that you decided to come back for another night. <laughs> Man, it's been like, what, 10 years since the last Piglet's establishment has opened up back in 1996? Time flies like crazy, really. Anyways, we found a good bunch of old animatronics from Jamie's, and we thought they'd be perfect enough for the attraction, since most of the stuff we just found were just a bunch of spare parts from the previous locations. Uh, especially... Oh, of course there's mini games in this. Of course there is. So there's gonna be a good ending and everything. I don't know if we should go for that in our first playthrough though. Can we go this way? No. And I'm probably gonna be able to go up here, aren't I? Yep, of course. Yep. If all these are pretty straightforward like this, I should be able to get the good ending first try. But maybe I shouldn't go for the first ending, well, the good ending for the first video. Maybe I should be going for the bad ending and then go for the good ending for another video. I don't know. But we can just do this mini game to start off with for now. But I don't think I'm gonna go for the good ending this video. But yeah, this unlocks something. Interesting. Anyway, let's let the phone call play out this time. Never mind, the phone call won't play now. I'm gonna head back to the main menu then. Especially Hunter. That guy was always one of my favorite characters, not being completely honest. Something about him just makes him look cool in my opinion. Anyways, let's just talk about what you're gonna do this week, since you're gonna star as a security guard. As soon as the attraction opens up, on your left, you have to monitor where you can check the cameras and play the audio there. Then you can also seal the vents there, which honestly, it doesn't really sound too crazy in my opinion. On your right, we have the maintenance panel, where you can reboot any system that may go offline except for corrupt signal. Um, look, since we have two animatronics in this place, there may be a possibility that they may start wandering around and eventually get into your office. If they do, just use the corrupt signal, and then they will leave. Not sure how on earth they're still able to move, even when they're at their absolute horrible conditions, but whatever, I guess. Oh yeah, that kind of reminds me. There's apparently this boarded up area in the Ferris bunker that's like an extra room or something like that. If possible, we may take a look at that room and see exactly what we can find. But for now, everything else here is what we all have as of today. Okay, I think that's all I really need to tell you about what to do. Um, just check the cameras and repair any systems that may go offline. We may have something new for you tomorrow night. Um, <laughs> have a good night, man. Alright, well this fan game is very obviously a FNAF 3 remake, so I don't know why they're calling this Five Nights with Piglet 4 instead of 3. It's really interesting. I think Agonizing Minds is probably Five Nights with Piglet 3. Oh, that's an easter egg. Hello. But, um, Five Nights with Piglet 3 is set in FNAF 4 for some reason. So for some reason they just put this one after the FNAF 4 remake for some reason. I don't know. It's really weird. I don't know why they did, but they did. So I don't know if there's going to be some lore I'm going to be missing or something from this game. Between post Ronum 5 and this game, but I don't know. Because, like I said, the, it probably Agonizing Minds is the third game. And I should be playing that instead. Okay, wait, can I play audio? Oh. My right, two things went down, so let's reboot all then. But now there's now it's just one thing. Okay, what is going on? I don't even know. But there we go. Reboot all didn't even take that long. Okay, you're still there. Let's try audio again. Okay, audio doesn't work on you, Mr. Piglet. Oh, vent, 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 vent. Uh, seal. Seal. Okay, we're good. Right? We're good, right? Surely. Can I unseal the vent? Oh, no. Okay, I don't know where he went. Has he gone all the way back? No. Oh, the, this chicken's moving. Oh, oh, you're over here now. Okay. That was a little confusing. 
We'll say they said something about using the corrupt signal. Do I just do this when he approaches? I don't even know. Okay, here, movement. He's going to cam four, okay. Looks like he's making his way to either cam seven. No, he's not going to cam seven. He's gonna to go to cam two or something and I'm gonna to have to lock the door again. The bird's still over here, so that's all right. We're just gonna to have to keep our eyes out on these two to make sure that none of them attack, to make sure that we're safe. To make sure we're, um, safe. Yeah, I totally haven't already said that, but... Yeah, um, pizza, I guess. We got Rachel over here, I think was their name. I can't remember this animatronic's name. But I haven't seen them in a while. Well, I haven't seen any of these animatronics in a while. It's been a while since I played a Five Nights with Piglets game. Which last time was Five Nights with Piglets Remastered. Which has been quite a bit of time since then. And none of them are approaching, so I'm just gonna stay safe here, I guess. But yeah, once again, they did say something about corrupt signals, so I don't know if... It's something that I have to use the reboot panel for, but yeah. Okay, that's a ventilation. Fix ventilation by itself. Let's see how quick it is. Okay. What is that? What is that? What is... What's going on? Uh, camp three? Yeah, camp three. Okay. That's fine. I'm still alive. Wait, door locks? What happened to door locks? And camera? Oh my gosh, everything's going down. Stop it. I need these fixed. Okay, everything should be fixed now. Okay, nothing here. Where did bird go? Birds can fly. Okay, found them. Just keep watching them all. To make sure that they, we don't get attacked. Because that would be bad. So we're just going to keep monitoring them. On the monitors. Can't have them killing me now, can we? Oh, someone moved. No, no one moved actually. Never mind. I was just being stupid. Once to get in the air. There we go. Finally. Night ended 6am. There it is. We survived the night. We are just fan gamers of all time. I don't know what to tell you. We're that good. But oh, of course, we're gonna get a cutscene, so let's see what this cutscene's about. Well, not a, well, not a cutscene, but a minigame, but you know what I mean. Let's get into this, let's see what's going on. Follow me. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna see if there's like FNAF 3 and we can get hints. So let's see. Oh, okay. We got an endoskeleton here, we got Rachel and Piglet. Why do we see our own body here? We're already formed here, why do we- oh gosh. Where's Rachel going, by the way? I haven't seen him in this game. It's just kind of gone. I'm just going to follow for now. Okay, I'm not going to follow you completely. Let's just keep looking around, like I said. I just want to explore the area, see what's going on. So we're just going to keep heading right, see what's going on here. Um, oh, I guess I went the correct direction accidentally. I'm going to head north here. Let's see what's over here. Oh, it's nothing. And then I believe if I go here, this is where the stage is. Yeah. All right. Let's start heading south then. That's fine. All right. Oh, here we go. Hints. Cam 8, Cam 6. I believe this is for Night 1, which we already did. Which we did do the Cam 8 Arcade. But there's a second one for Cam 6. And some liquid? What? I don't even know what that's meant to be, but... Let's just keep progressing for now. Follow me. I will. Following you. What do you have? Follow me. Okay, I get it. So we're in the office now. Interesting. But let's keep... Whoa, what happened to the tiles there? They just changed colors. That was definitely interesting. Okay, follow me. What is in this hallway, actually, before we go? I want to know. Oh, so it would have been this hallway, but without the hints. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, we're heading down here. Oh, error. Yeah, and then we're going to die. Okay, red man. There's a red man. Okay. That seems like a copy from um, Fun Times at Home. As if you remember that fan game playthrough we did. In the third game of that fan game series, we had a red man attack us as well. But yeah, anyway. Oh, they're already moving. What we just found, but uh, we found another animatronic in there, and geez, it looks nothing like what I've seen with the rest of the animatronics in the establishment. It's got like brains in its head, apparently, too. Wow, absolutely terrifying, am I right? <laughs> we might have also got a few tapes to record by Christopher Davidson. Seems like both of these tapes were made for employees and Jamie's as a training tape of some sort. Like, damn, this is kind of crazy. These things are like prehistoric at all absolute honesty. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, gotta go, man. Look, if there's something in there, I'm sure you can handle it, okay? I'm just gonna play the audio from the tapes we found. Talk to you later, Mikhail. Mikhail? Hello, and welcome to your new career as an engineer slash technician at Jamie's Pizza Theater. These tapes will help you by giving much needed information on how to control the animatronic joints with the plugin provided by Anzit Self Care Robotics. Please pay close attention as accidents slash malfunctions on the animatronics can occur. To activate the additional features on the animatronics, 
use the plugin on the animatronic's arm. Once done, use the control panel from the control module area located right behind the stage. There are five separate buttons for the animatronic that you can use while the plugin is active. That being the eyes slash eyelids, fingers, ears, legs, etc. As a technician, your task is to test these functions to check if they're stable enough. If this part of the animatronic is having malfunctions, replace the plugin and use the backup one from the safe room where the spring lock suits are located. We'll continue this training tomorrow. Thank you and remember to smile. You are the face of Jamie's Pizza Theater. End tape. Okay, the bird's moving. Oh, you're moving! Close! Okay, no thank you. Do not do that. Did I get rid of him? I hope I did. Um, I'm just gonna assume I got rid of him. You're over there. Uh, where did you go now? Oh, he's back here. Okay, that, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Okay, video error. Camera systems. Let's fix that. Don't need to fix anything else, so let's just fix that. I hear movement. What's going on? Oh, I hear something. I don't know who's close. Somebody's close by. Who is this? I see legs. Is that the bird? Oh, they're both here. I see the bird and um, Piglet. Oh great, this isn't good. Hopefully they stay back, that would be good. Cause I don't like that. And I don't want a video error, so I'm just... Oh, ventilation, come on. Okay, let's fix the ventilation quick. I hear footsteps. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, let's check. Oh, it's you. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? What? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, what is going on? This is no good. Okay. Okay. I couldn't hear anything throughout all that. Jeez. Uh, vents? Are vents good? Vents? Okay, I'll fix the ventilation in the meantime. Okay. Oh, and I gotta fix audio. Great. That was no good, man. Jeez. I did not expect that, but let's try and fix it. What the? Uh, what do I do about the bird? Is this a corrupt signal? Corrupt signal? Corrupt signal? Wait, let's try. Let's try. They're gone? I think I did it? Wait, did I- Oh! No, thank you. Jeez. Oh, all the door locks are open. Shoot. I don't see anyone. So I think I'm safe for now. Oh, stop it, Emangle. Where's the other guy? I don't see him. Where's Piglet? Where's Piglet? I don't see Piglet. Oh, shoot, I think I lost Piglet. Piglet, where did you go? Oh, there's Piglet. Careful. Okay, we found him. Okay, good. Okay, there's Bird. Okay, you're back here, Piglet. Okay, we've got everyone back in our mind. Piglet, Cam- th Oh, never mind. Cam 2. Close. Close. Good. So we got Bird at Cam 6, got you at Cam 10, you're back to Cam 9 now. Okay, we got everyone under control. I was afraid for a second that we were just done. But now, ooh, now we know someone can appear on the, the reboot panel, which is actually really unique for a fan game of Five Nights at Freddy's 3. They never try, try and like consider using the panel in any sort of way that can throw you off. But I like, I like this, the fact that... There can be an error on the panel itself as well. Pretty interesting, I will say. It definitely adds some uniqueness to this fan game, which makes it more memorable. I'll say that. So I'm going to remember this game for the fact that the panel can also jump scare you. But yeah, I like it. I like it. It's really interesting. Okay, there's Piglet at Cam 4 again. I think the most important thing to keep closed down is Cam 2. I think that's the most important one. Okay, you're back there. Let's hand you back here. Yeah, you're at that camera. I think I'm going to fix the audio. Oh, whoopsie daisies. Now it's time to fix the ventilation instead. But we survived the night, so it didn't matter. Awesome. We got to be more aware of these, uh, this panel phantom though. We, we need to be more careful. Let's head into this and let's see what is going on. So now we're playing as this next character who I cannot remember their name, unfortunately, but oh well. I'm going to head to the right again to see if they have the hints on this side again. Let's just check to see if that's the case or not. But yeah. Yep, they have it here as well. So they have Arcade Machine again. And they have... Okay, so this is just the Chica one for Night 2. Okay, noted. So top left, bottom right. Top right, bottom left. Noted. Let's keep going. Let's get to the end of the minigame and let's see what we can do for Night 3. Oh, there's Piglet's dead body. Yikes. Run away, run away, run away. Can I leave? Oh, nearly. Close. <laughs> not quite. I was hoping I could leave the area, but now nah, clearly not. Third night, 12 a.m. Here we go. All right, let's do this. Let's get into the phone call. Let's see what they have to call us about. Let's do this. Hello, welcome back to training. For today's lesson, we'll be continuing on 
our training on using the JPT robotic cable unit on the animatronic. Since we have gotten through with how the plugin works, we may move over to the section following the rules by using the cable for the robots in our establishment. You may be familiar with how we have a few backups in the safe room in case if there's any problems you're facing with the device. However, these things can also start breaking if you're not careful enough to use the cables by yourself, which is exactly the subject we'll be going through. When unplugging the cable, please remember to slow down for a bit, as doing so in a quick way may break the cable, which in that case would be your own fault in this scenario. Tampering with the cables can also result in the plug-in being broken, regardless if you're repairing them or not. So, if you're willing to repair the cables, do so in a more careful manner. As always, if there's any issues you may be facing here, please ensure to contact the other technicians so that they can inspect the issues by themselves. Thanks again, and remember to smile. You are the face of Jamie's Pizza Theater. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, oh, I got audio. Oh, and now this. Oh, great. This is going well. Oh, this is going so well, man. Jeez. Okay, am I still moving him? Oh, I am moving him. Huge. Okay, ventilation again? Come on, man. And audio? Come on. Oh, this is just bad. This is just bad in general. What is going on, man? Let's check around. Should be good now. Should be good. Okay, someone there. That, I think that's Bird. Okay, there's that. I think that's Springtrap. Yeah, Springtrap. Oh, spine trap or whatever he was called in the previous game we played in poster run and five it was like spine pork or something i don't know or swine pork whatever he was called once again i can't remember his name maybe we will remember down the line i don't know but we just need to keep him back focus on these two make sure that they don't attack me because i believe it's just swine trap and then these two and that's it as long as we make sure and keep check on these two we should be safe and okay yep you're back here again that's fine I'll just keep you blocked off by the door, that's fine. You can keep staring into the camera, looking really annoyed at me, but there's nothing you could- <sighs> Get out! Okay, that was close. That was really close. Dude, that error- I still need to get used to that error. Oh, hi. I need to, like, get faster reaction time, that's the thing. It's because some of these catch me off guard, and I just don't expect them. I need to be more quicker with my reaction times, because- oh, okay. Can I do that? Oh, I can, okay. Huge. Okay, so we know how one of the other um, characters work now. Interesting. Okay, anyone here? No. Oh, stop it. Okay, door locks are... Gosh dang it, man. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't care about ventilation right now. Actually, no, I do. Come on, just fix it. Okay. Quick. Okay, just lock it. Just lock it. Okay. Okay, you here? Oh. I don't know where the swine trap's gone. Oh, you see it. Okay. What's going on? What, what do I hear? Oh yeah, that's them uh, being close. Okay, that's fine. I got the door blocked. Okay, they're both here. Okay, I found them both. Good. Okay. I was a bit curious of where they were at this point, but I did find them, which is good. This is getting somewhat intense. Also, I didn't drag him. Oh, shoot. Where is he? Where's Swine Trap? Oh, what? Oh, he was in the vents? Oh, I didn't realize. Shoot. He got away. Dang it. Oh, well, let's try again. Third night. Here we go. I can't let these ventilations ruin me again. Because they are very detrimental if you mess up. So I can't let it happen again. Okay, that was not cool. My door locks just stopped working. But I need a corrupt signal to get rid of this character. Okay, that should have gotten rid of them. It's door locks. Okay. Yep, we got rid of them. Good to know. Let's send you back here. Oh, it didn't send them. Shoot. How about this? Okay, that worked. Good. And then let's close this door again. And there we go. And then we got ventilation. Great. So let's try and fix that. Okay, I still was able to bring him back. That's good. Okay, I don't know where the piglet's gone. Oh, wait, I got him sent back. Huge. It's awesome. Awesome. Okay, we're back at 3 a.m., which is good. You are still nowhere near. That's fine. I'll just keep my eyes on you in the meantime. Oh, that should be you? Yeah. I think he makes a certain sound cue when it's... Oh, gosh, dang it. Oh, and he moved again. Great. I need to get him quickly. Okay, do that. Yeah, he does make a certain sound cue when he moves. So as long as I listen out for that, it should be good. Let's fix the audio because that's probably very low. So should probably fix it. Where's... Oh, I hear vent. Which vents though? Wait, what? Where? Why do I hear vents? Um, oh, corrupt signal. Please. Oh, got rid of him. Huge. Okay, that's good. Okay, 4 a.m. And I heard the spring trap move. Oh, shoot. He moved. Okay, is he here? Oh, okay, I got him, got him, got him. Get back. That's right. Get back there. You annoying Springtrap lookalike. Hate you. Okay. 
Yep. Get out, get out. Oh my gosh. He nearly didn't get out. But I heard Swine Trap. So we gotta get him. Send him back here. Okay, there we go. Good. Oh, he moved again. Go away. Stop it. Okay, that's a bird. Ventilations. Oh, do that. Okay, that was close. Okay, yep. I can do ventilations. There's a lot of new um, phantoms in this game compared to FNAF 4. I mean, not FNAF 4, FNAF 3. Which is what is making this so much of a struggle for me is these different characters. It's so different. These different phantoms, they work so differently to FNAF 3 that I I just have to adapt. Like, genuinely. Oh, stop it. Like, I have to adapt to this change. And I'm not used to it. Bunch of getting used to it. But I think in this attempt, I should be good. I think. I hope. I sure hope so. I should have enough audio to keep Springtrap back, so shouldn't be much of an issue. And then that pushes the bird back. Oh, do that. Thank you. Still don't hear spring trap, so I'm still very much safe. Okay. Oh, no, thank you. Okay, it's the door locks. Uh, I don't see anyone yet. Oh, no, I didn't get out. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. It's 6 a.m. anyway. We survived. I still need to get used to that phantom um, panel character. Jeez. I really need to get used to them. This is... I'm gonna have to really get used to them if I'm gonna survive night four and onwards. Oh, gosh. All right, we're playing as Rachel now. Let's just move on. Let's just walk. And see what's going on so let's walk down this hallway and once again we're going to check what the code is and we'll well not the code but what we're going to need to do for night three so one nine eight three two three two eight okay what is that for again in the original what do the numbers mean i can't remember that's not switching through the cameras right i can't remember we'll have to see let's keep following see what happens all right rachel it's your turn to not escape okay can we yeah there we go escape escape no. There's the Rachel there. There it is. Alright. So that is... Yep, that's gonna be night four, alright, so... Time to head back to the menu. Well, I hope you're all enjoying Kinemotophobia... Oh, jeez. I hope you're all enjoying Kinemotophobia so far. Or, Five Nights with Piglets 4. If you did, stick around some more of my playthrough of this fan game. This fan game is... It has some promise to it, I will say that. It's pretty challenging, and it's unique, you know? A lot of FNAF 3 remakes, the thing that struggles with them is a lot of them are just the same. You know, one character that can damage you, bunch of phantoms, but this fan game, there's three that can attack you. Actually, that's the same in, um, what is it? By uh, Fun Times at Home is three as well. And in that Fun Times at Home is three, the purple guy is also red in that game, so there is some similarities between this and Fun Times at Home is three, but still, I like it. I like the fact that some of these phantoms are unique. That's what makes it good. Especially the panel one. You've never had fair games where the panel can be a threat. But in this game, there is. Which I like. It makes it makes my brain have to work. And I'm going to have to now react to that. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed my playthrough so far. You did. Stick around for the next episode. Check out the Discord in the description and pin comment down below. Like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.